proportional or not proportional? That, that is the question. In our first situation, we're going to look at two linear graphs. A linear graph means the graph of a line. So they're both lines, so they're both linear relationships, but one of them is proportional, one of them is not proportional. Can you guess which is which? I'll give you a moment to guess. Moment's over. All right. I'll give you a clue. On each line, we've identified a pair of points. And knowing what those points are will be key to determining are they proportional or not. Here's how I check. I'm going to take this point over here, negative 2, 3, and I'm going to write it as a fraction. I'm going to write negative 2 over 3. Then I'm going to take the second point and do the same thing. 6 over negative 1. And the question I'm going to check and see, well, are those two fractions equivalent? Even though they have negative numbers in them, to check if they're equivalent, meaning proportional, I'm still going to do butterfly method. Cross multiply. 3 times 6, 18. Negative 1 times a negative 2. Smiley face, positive 2. So, not proportional. Is it proportional? No. Uh, what about this one? Is this one proportional? I said one of them is, one of them is not. Or did I lie? Let's see. Take the point, write it as a fraction. Negative 2 over 1. First number on top, second number on bottom. Over here, two negative ones, so I'll write two on the top, one on the bottom, negative one. Now let's see, are these equivalent? When I cross multiply, one times two, two times, negative one times negative two, two times. So they are proportional. They have an equivalent ratio if I look at their ordered pairs. So is this proportional? Yes. Yes. And here's a trick. Here's a shortcut. For those of y'all who are interested in shortcuts, anytime you have a graph and it passes through the origin, anytime the line passes through the origin, it is proportional. Does it pass through the origin? Not proportional. Passes through the origin? It's proportional. If you remember that, you don't have to work it out. Me again. Proportional. Proportional. <laughs> Me again. Proportional versus non proportional linear relationships, part two. So here I have. Two equations of lines, two linear equations. Y equals 4x and y equals 3x plus 2. How do I know if they're proportional or not? I don't know any points on the line. Or do I? This is how we check. Create, which you've probably done before, create a t-table for x values and y values. All I need is two pairs of points. So I'll just make up a point for x. Any point other than 0 works just great. 1. So when x is 1, 4 times 1 gives me 4. When x is 1, y is 4. Why not try 2? When x is 2, 4 times 2... Gives me 8. Y equals 8. So now i got two points. So let me check them. Just like I did last time. 1 over 4 and 2 over 8. 1 over 4 is that equal to 2 over 8. Butterfly method. You can already look at it and see. 8 times 1 is 8. 4 times 2 is 8. So is this proportional? Yes. 
Yes. Again, find two points that go with this equation and set them up as fractions. Cross multiply to see if they're equal. Let's try over here. Set up my t table. Am I going too fast? Pause it. Y equals 3x plus 2. My x, my y. So I'll let y equal 1 again, and I'll let it equal 2. If I let x equals 1, if I let x equal 1, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 more, 5. Over here, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 more is 8. So now I have two points on this line. 1, 5 is a point. 2, 8 is another point. I'm going to write them as fractions. See if they actually are equivalent. Is 1 over 5 equal to 2 over 8? When I look at this, butterfly method to check it. 5 times 2 is 10. 8 times 1 is 8. So are they proportional? No! They're not proportional. There's a shortcut. Shh. Shortcut. When I look at these equations, the difference between these two equations, this is just y equals 4 times x, this is y equals 3 times x, plus something extra. If it has plus something extra, or minus something extra, it's not going to be proportional. If all you do is multiply by x, it's going to be proportional. That's a shortcut. Shh, don't tell anybody. Proportional or not proportional? That is the question. All right, our final situation is if you have a table. We did the graph. We did the equation. Finally, what if they put the information in the table? Is this a proportional relationship? You might look at it and you see a pattern here. The total cost just keeps going up by how much? Three. Total cost is going up by three. Total number of items is going up by one. So it keeps going up by the same amount. Does that mean it's proportional? Not necessarily. It does mean it's a linear relationship, though. So to check to see if it's proportional, I'm going to treat this as an x value and I'll treat this as a y value and I'm gonna do it like I did it before create a fraction what's the ratio of x to y here I would have 1 over 5 here I would have 2 over 8 so I ask you is it proportional no, really, is it proportional? So you butterfly method to check it, and you see that these are actually not proportional. Not proportional. 5 times 2 is 10. 8 times 1 is 8. That's all there is to it.